So as many of you know, I work in health and fitness, and I would have thought in the past that that would have been just enough to meet a woman and then keep her. And uh, just a show of hands, who here would have kind of considered themselves like a, the nice guy? So this is the men in the room. Who would say, yeah, I'm the nice guy? Okay. Now who would agree also that they've heard the saying, nice guys always finish last? <laughs> so us being a nice guy, as a, or I should say even more a former nice guy, I always enjoyed the company of, of beautiful women. But I oftentimes found myself in positions where the beautiful woman wasn't interested in me, and I couldn't understand why. And so this took me on a journey to figure out why. So I'll give you a little story just to kind of give you an idea. About a couple years back, I met this woman, and her name is actually Cherry, not a stripper, but her name is Cherry. <laughs> and she was a very attractive girl, and I had managed somehow to get her phone number from her and set up a date to take her to an outdoor festival where there was loud music, um, and we'd walk around and see different sights and have a drink and just kind of have a good old time. So I got the date set up with her, and I picked her up, and I took her to this festival. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, i got to show value to her on why she would want to spend time with me. So I'm doing all the things that guys do, nice guys do. I'm opening the doors, I'm paying for her drinks, I'm listening intently as she's talking to me about what she wants to do with her life, and I'm trying to prove to her, well, look, i got all these qualities that a guy should have in a boyfriend. I can cook, I exercise, I'm nice, you know what I mean? Nice. <laughs> I never thought that would work, you know? As the day wears on, I can, I can notice a shift in her body language and the way that she was looking at me. Like, it was almost like a look of like, hmm, this is a little bit too much. And she ended up running into this guy that she didn't even know. And the guy started like kind of giving her a hard time, and he started like kind of joking with her. And I noticed within about one to two minutes, she's now touching him. And I'm standing here kind of feeling like an outside party going, why is she touching him? You know what I mean? This is like an indicator that she's kind of interested in getting to know him. It goes even further to the point where I'm trying to be nice, and then she's asking him, what are these dangerous stories about you riding your motorcycle? And the guy is like, well, yeah, I was on my Harley, and I had my foot kicked up like this, and, you know, and I was rocking through. And she's getting totally enthralled with everything that he's talking about. And when I say, hey, you know, I'm ready to leave, she goes, you know, I think I'm going to stay, but you can go. Oh. Oh. So now I'm walking with my tail between my legs, feeling sorry for myself. What the hell did I do wrong? Right? What did I do wrong? I had interest, and I lost it. So this delved me into this little thing, okay, being a nice guy, underneath, how do I meet women and keep their attention so that I don't get a reproduction of, that's a bad word, but I don't get, <laughs> I don't get this thing happening to me again because I just really was not happy about this whole situation, you know? Take a girl to a festival and have another guy take her home, that's great, you know? <laughs> So, what I learned is there's a few basics for when you want to meet women, and I know some, some people are natural, some people are unnatural. I was kind of a bit of an unnatural, I was very shy. And so, I've learned just a few things I uh, would like to kind of share with the group. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of run you through it, and then I'm going to explain to you just the basic of what I did. I'm not going to go into the full thing, okay? So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go out the door, and I'm going to walk in, okay? Yeah. And then I'll and then I'll go into it, okay? <laughs> hey, we're in <laughs> Hi there, can I get your opinion for just one moment? Okay, so who do you think lies more, men or women? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, huh? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what do you think? Do you think men lie more than women? I was having this discussion with my friends, and we were trying to kind of figure out who lies more, and it's always kind of been one-sided, so I really wanted some female opinions on that. Mm. I guess in all the people I've met, I hate to say it, but I think it's men. You, hate, you, you, you like to say it's men? I, I don't want to say it's men, but I, <laughs> I Is there kind of a consensus on this one? Do we think that maybe men lie a little bit more than women? 
Gonna maybe raise the hand a little bit here. I, I can't stay real long, but just for real quick. Yeah? Okay. So, two things that you always do, okay? And this is just the real basic. One, when you have an opener, the opener generally needs to be something that the people are gonna have to respond to in an open-ended question. And it can be anything. It can be, who do you think lies more? Or you can say, hey, my friend has got this issue and I need an opinion. Usually an opinion really works really well. Secondly, when you go in, you have to give a time constraint. And what that means is people don't want you to think that you're gonna linger for a long time. So you have to say, I gotta meet my friends real quick, but I just wanted to ask you this real quick. And third, it has to come off as being very spontaneous. So if you come into it and you seem like you are potentially like you saw them and you're just going for it, it's going to then turn that particular group off. And then last, this is just kind of the basics of opening. You want to always enter into any group with more energy than they have already. So you need to seem kind of fun and energetic and very playful. From there, once you kind of start getting openers, you start getting people talking to you, then you do things where they call, you throw it, they call it like little pebbles or little necks. And what this basically does is it allows you to throw out little kind of, I want to say cutesy things, but little things that you can throw out that kind of show that your value and show that you are unaffected by um, the persons, the people that you are uh, trying to attract. So generally you'll have one particular person that you're aiming for, and that will be the person that you'll ever kind of pick on. Like It's kind of like being the childhood bully, you know what I mean? And it sounds really funny, you know, the childhood bully that comes out and he kind of like throws little pebbles at someone, or pulls someone's hair, or pushes someone on the swing, right? Why is it that the little kid then, the little girls are attracted to little boys who push them down in the sandbox? That doesn't make any sense. And so it's this idea that you, ha you can be nice, but you have to also kind of say, hey, I'm nice, but I'm a 10 too, and you're lucky for me talking to me. And actually, you have to make that person eventually try to prove themselves to you. So later on during a conversation, let's say you're sitting next to someone, and you might say something like, you know, beauty is everywhere. Would you agree there's a lot of beautiful women out there? What are a few things about you that would make me want to get to know you better? And what that does is it reverses it because it makes that person have to prove themselves to you. Okay? So just kind of tie it all together. Just kind of the basic on meeting them is it has to be spontaneous or appear spontaneous. Your body language has to denote that you're almost ready to leave. You have to give a time constraint. The opener doesn't really matter. It's really how you deliver it. And you've got to bring in more energy than the current group currently has because they don't want to hang out with the unfun guy. Okay? Thank you very much and have a great day.